Hello everyone, welcome back to our YouTube channel Zero Analyst. This is the project 4 of our 10 SQL series. Thank you so much for showing so much love to all my last 3 projects. So let's see the project that we will build today. So by end of this video, you will publish your project like this in your GitHub repository which I am going to show you step by step. So let's see the task that you will do in this uh, project. Now you can see this is a Netflix movies and TV shows and data set. We will download this data set from Kaggle. I am going to show you from where you will be getting this and data set. Now you can see we have added a nice logo in our project which I am going to show you in the end how you will add this logo and uh, you can write the overview about the project so you can read the overview about the project here you can see the project objective that is mentioned here okay and you can see the data set so to get the data set you just need to click on this link that will bring you to the kaggle website from where you can get this data set and this is the data set i have used in this project which you will be using in this project so now let's see what else you will do so once you download the data set from kaggle.com we will first explore the data in excel then we will create the table and set up the database and import the data in our postgres sql once you import the data we will start exploring the data set and we will solve 15 business problems so these are the 15 business problems that you will solve on this data set you can see the problem statement here so i have added medium to advanced level questions in this project so you can see all this question that we will be solving okay now all these questions you can see have included here. So at the end of this video, I'm going to show you how you will publish your project completely like this, where you will add all the data set and you will add your SQL queries. You can see my SQL queries here. If I just click on this link, it will take me to this business problem statement. You can see it here. And if I click on my solutions, which will take me to another SQL query, which is, which is where I have mentioned all this problem that I have solved in this project. You can see it here. So same way you will publish your project which I'm going to show you at the end of this video. So without any further delay, let's start the video. So let's go to kaggle.com and download this data set. Now you can see I'm on the kaggle.com website and uh, this is the data set we are talking about. So the data set, so the data set name is Netflix movies and TV shows and uh, this is the data set. I'm going to add this link in the video description as well. So first you just need to click on this and download button. Once you click on this download button, you can see the data set started downloaded in my screen. So you can see this is where it got downloaded so it is a zip file i will just unzip it and uh, i'll copy the file in desktop okay so now you can see i have copied the file in desktop so let me open the file in excel so first we will try to explore the data set and we will see what are the things we have in the data set and then we will create a database and set up database and create table import this and data into postgres sql okay now if you're using mysql i would recommend you to use postgres sql if you do not know how to set up postgres sql if you do not know how to set up postgres sql in your machine i have added a video in the video descriptions which you can go through step by step and you can install postgres sql in your system you can use almost the same syntax that you have been using in mysql with postgres sql as well okay so now let's see the data set this seems like these these are the shows id which is like the movies id or maybe the web series id you can see this is, seems to be id column and we can see the data set that total we have which is 8808 so, so that means total we have 8800 of rows and data in this data set and uh, these are the columns you can see we have type in this type seems to be we have movies and uh, we have a tv shows so this tv shows are web series then we have title so this is the title columns this is the director columns this is the cast column so if you double click on this title column you can see this other title this seems to be really really long title so some of the text are really really long here so we will import as it is we are not going to clean this and data and we will import as it is and then we will try to solve the business problem so let's see the director column in this this is the director column you can see and uh, in the director column again i can double click on it so to see if in case we have multiple data right so you can see in the director seems also be very very large data set very large characters in this column so ne let's see next column that is going to be cast column and in this cast column also we have a really large text file you can see and the one thing you will see that there are multiple cast members and names are mentioned by separating by comma you can see it here we have the country column so in the country column we can see the country information where this web series or movies was released you can see it here so again we can see some multiple countries name here as well you can double click on it to you know it's going to auto fit in this excel so we can see in some of the cell we have multiple countries so here you can see this data set so let's first make it bigger so you can see here it has united states ghana and all these countries where this movies or web series was released so this is the date added column so you can see it here this is the date added column and then we have this is the release year column so which year this movies or website was released you can see it here 
so this is the rating column and this is the column that has durations like how long the web series or how long these movies are you can see it here so then we have something called listed in which is basically the genre okay we have descriptions okay so in this descriptions this is again really really large you can see because the description has mentioned about the film about the web series okay so this is all everything that we have here okay now let's go ahead and create the table and then insert the this data set into this postgres sql so first we will need to set up the database i'm just going to cancel everything for now i will just relaunch it so let me just relaunch it and i will just need all this column name because i will be creating a table to import this data as it is okay now if you see the record total we have 8808 eight, eight records so this is this is the total records we have you can see at the end so it is 8808 eight. after importing the data we will verify if you if we have this 8808 eight records or not okay so let's first set up the database and i'm going to use postgres sql for this project if you're using mysql you can use mysql but there is a chance that you may experience some issues while importing the data so i'm going to recommend you to use postgres sql for this project you can check my video in the video descriptions how to install postgres sql in your computer so let's start now I'm going to launch this applications and I'm going to cancel everything whatever I have at the moment. So I'm going to set up a database. Now I already have set up a database. Now I'm going to set up a new database. So the tool I'm using that is called PG Admin 4 which is a Postgres SQL management tool. Same as like SQL workbench we have. So I'm going to just click on this server and from the server I'm going to click on this Postgres SQL 16. So you may have this Postgres SQL 16 same as like it. So you just need to go to this database and click on this extend. Once you click on this extend, you will see all the database available. So you just need to right click on it. You need to click on create database and you can give any database name. So I'm just going to give it called Netflix. It should start with text. So I would say Netflix Dawson DB1. Now you can give any other name. So for me, I'm going to use Netflix one because I have already Netflix DB. Okay. So you don't have to do anything else. Just click on save. Now once you click on save you will see the database has created already if you don't see the database you can just right click and refresh on it and you see the database will be here so for us this is the database netflix db1 let's click on this query tool now to launch a query where we will write you know our sql queries you need to select the database go to this play icon and or you can use the shortcut as well and then once you click on it you will see a query tool will open and without query tool you will see something like this okay you cannot click anywhere else so select the database go to query tool and the query tool will be open in front of your screen so here we will write our queries and we will then you know start importing the data so let's make it zoom a little bit and i'm just going to hide everything for now now here we want to first create our table right so if you want to verify we do not have any table at the moment so i can just go to netflix db1 and you can see schemas and in the schemas we are in the public and in the public we are in the tables so which is public and you will see something called tables okay you can see at the moment we don't have any tables so we will first create the table then you will see the table here okay now to verify you are on the right database or not you can see it here we are inside netflix and db and this is the postgres which is my user and this is the server and this is the server name okay so first we will create a table so i'm going to basically start with writing a comments called netflix project okay now you can write any name so i'm just going to write it and i would say create table and what is the table name i'm going to name it called netflix okay and what are the columns i will need to define the column inside this bracket right so i have copied all the column name from the data set which is from my excel so you can see first column is going to be show id then the column is going to be type then it's going to be title then it's going to be director then it's going to be cast then it's going to be country okay then it's going to be date edit then it's going to be release year and then it's going to be rating and we have durations we have listed in and descriptions so these are the columns we have now each column should be separated by a comma so first of all let me just select all this column and let's move to write one conditions right okay now now here we need to for each column we need to give their data types okay so this is very very important so let's get the data types so if you see in excel we will be able to see their data types right so if you see the first column that's going to be show id so the data type seems to be characters you can see now you can see we have text and numbers so we will need to consider this as it characters so that is going to be verkar in postgres sql if you double click on it you will see the maximum with maximum length of this character so it seems like it's less than you know maybe 10 
but we'll we'll be defining it as a five okay if you want to verify it you see the maximum character that we have which is which is s8807 that means total we have five characters now i can define it as a 10 or 7 so i'm going to say bear car and here i'm going to define it five or i can define it six okay so that is fine this is my first column which is called show id and then the data type is bear car and i'm defining the limit as a six if you define less you will be getting error while we will import the data set now let's see the next one which is called type so for the type again you can double click on it and you can see still this seems to be same but we can define it as a 10 bear car okay so i can go ahead and see that for this one bear car 10 okay so for the type showing it's a sql properties so that's the reason you can see it is highlighted in red colors so you should change this name to something else okay so for now i'm going to keep as a type only but uh, for this one i will be changing it with something else okay so bear car 10 that is fine now let's go ahead and see for the title so this is the title now the title seems to be very very long which you have already checked earlier if you just show you like this you can see it seems to be very long so we can verify it okay to verify it i can just click one of the cell maybe here and i can just go ahead and say max okay and i would say len and i would just need to select this column and then i will see the maximum length of this title okay you can see it's 104 so maximum length of one of the row is that is 104 okay we have used simple max length this functions okay in excel so for this one the title the data types i would define it more than 104 so i'm going to define it as a 150 okay so this is how you define the data types okay so for directors again i need to check first let me just make sure delete it and whatever i had it here i will just put it back now for the director let me check again so for the director again we will be checking with max len so so what i can do is that i can put like max and i can say len and i can just select this column okay so it's like we have a lot of null values so it's not going to be a right option so what i will do is that I would just select this column and uh, here I will put instead of D2 I'm going to put D8808 I think this was the range so if I just close it you see I have 208 so the maximum length for this in director is 208 okay so I'm going to define for the director it's 208 so 208 for the director now let's check for the cast again for the cast it's going to be the long text because all this is a text and data type so what we will do i will just check outside okay that's going to be i will check it here for cast okay so let me just say cast here and i would say max len and let's check for this column which is called cast so it's e2 start with e2 and with e8808 okay so that's how i select everything so it's 771 so that seems to be very very large data types i'm going to select bear car and uh, 7750 okay maybe i would select 1000 okay now let's check for the country so if we just double click on this country column you will see we again have the large data types here so for now i can again check the same so for country the column name is f i will just change this e to f okay so it's 123 i'm going to define it as 150 for the country so country seems to be fine now let's check for the date added so the date added usually it is a date and data type but you can see this data is in text format like we have a different shape here right we have the month name then we have the day and then we have comma and then we have the year so this standard sql is not going to accept it so we'll define this data as of now as a bear car only so if you see the limit is going to be somewhere around maybe 50 so i'm going to define it as a you know 50 here okay for the date edit so that's going to be 50. now for the release year this seems to be integer you can see so i will define it as a in, just integer okay now for rating if you see the rating is again varkar so i would define it as varkar 10 so that should be under 10 only let's see for durations so for durations again this seems to be varkar so i would define it as a 10 or 15 okay now for listed in so this is the genre so i'm going to define it like 50 okay so where car maybe 25 okay so let's see if in case we get error for this listed in so descriptions i will check for the descriptions again that's going to be for l so i will just change this f to l so 
so it's 250 so the description seems to be showing as a 250 okay so that's for L that's correct so I will just define it as a 250 okay 250 okay so this is fine now intentionally I kept this listed in in lower than what range we have so we may get error for this okay now I have defined it as only 25 characters let's see if we get error and how we fix it okay so now I'm just going to run this query this is going to create a table so let's first fix this syntax error so it's a create table so I have entered this create table twice let me was delete one. now I can see we have the right syntax let's run it and now you can see for this cast we are getting error because this is a part of SQL property so I'm just going to change it with cast so cast along with T I'm just adding an S here okay now let's execute this and you can see this ran successfully that means the table is now created you can right click and refresh on it you will see Netflix table so just make sure that you are inside this database which is Netflix and DB1 so you see to verify it you can just go to this the database and if you don't see your database just right click on it refresh on it you will see your database extend it and uh, then you will go to this public from the public go to this tables and uh, from the public go to schemas and tables from the tables you will see the table here just make sure you right, uh, right click and refresh on it and you see the table has created which is netflix okay now in this table we are going to import the data to import the data you just need to click on this table right click and uh, then you click select this import export options and just make sure you select this import and in this options you need to go to options and make sure this header is enabled because our data has a header so you need to select this header is enabled we don't have to touch anything else then in general just select the file path or just click this folder icon and select your file so we have downloaded the data set in this desktop so i'm just going to select desktop and press ok now you see i'm getting error so it seems like this you know import fail due to some reason let's verify it you can click on this icon and then we will see the reason so we start reading from the end so you can see value too long for the character varying 25 so we have defined something 25 some column for that column it's saying the value is too long so if you want to see more you can read this line you see this context copy netflix line 3 column listed okay the column name is listed we can see it here so column listed and in the listed it is trying to import this long text but it seems this text is more than 25 characters right so for this we first need to Im increase the length for this uh, you know column which is called listed in and then we will be able to import the data okay so to do that what I can do is that I can go back here and uh, I can either write an alter command or I can just remodify this one so instead of 25 I'm going to say 55 okay or maybe I will just check I think listed in I will just check what is the maximum length we have for the listed in so we can check it here so it's K for K let's check so I will just check the maximum length to ensure that we don't get the error it's 79 so we can define it as a 150 or 100 okay so listed in 100 now I need to delete the table completely then I will create the table again so you can write something called drop table if if exist so this is going to delete the table okay this command make sure you add this semicolon here so this line is going to delete the table and this line is going to create the table now you can run in one go so you can just click on this play icon and this is going to you can see execute it so now the table has created now make sure you right click on it and refresh on it okay now you can see we have a new table so this table has a correct limit if you want to verify you can just say select star from netflix and you will be able to see the actual table with the data types and the limits okay now you can see for listed in at the moment the limit we have which is 100 text right 100 characters so now this time just right click on it again refresh on it just to make sure refresh right click import and then once you see select general just select the data it's correctly selected make sure header is enabled click ok and you see a two pop up one is sh showing process started one is showing process completed that means the process is completed at the moment okay so now let's see the data to see the data you can just select this and uh, click this play icon or you can use the shortcut as well for me you can see this is f5 so for you it may be something else okay now i can just minimize everything else from here so let me minimize everything and uh, you can see the now table is created right so we can explore the data set and we can see the table so first step column we have which is show id 
then we have type which is movies and tv shows you can see it here and uh, we have title we have director name so we can see some of the null values we have in director name so we will keep it for now because again maybe for some movies there is no director name at the moment okay maybe it is deleted now in the cast you can see a lot of nulls are there so that is again fine because there is there is a possibility that some of the cast names are deleted you can see it here now you can see here each cast member are separated by commas so in this column we have multiple cast members here so these are the actors you can see who perform in the movies or the web series okay then we have country columns where we have single countries and multiple countries you can see separated by commas here and we have date edit so here we have the date in the same format which is you can see it month then day then year and then we have release year then we have a rating that is you can see it here and we have durations which is here now one thing you will see for the movies we have the durations for the web series we don't have the durations in time but we have something like seasons like one season two seasons okay something like that so that is fine because how do you check if you see the second record that is showing as web series the first one is showing 90 minute so if you want to check their types you can go to the first column second columns you can see first one is movies the second one is web series second all of this right till here so you will see all of this you will have the season right numbers so you can see all of they have the seasons okay so each web series is uh, having the seasons and each film have this minute okay as a durations then we have listed which is the genre column so again this also has a data which is separated by comma you can see it here right so we have multiple genre the same film fall into multiple genres you can see it here okay then we have the descriptions which has the information about the film right so maybe the short story about the film you can see it mentioned here okay all right so that is it the data set and now let's see the total counts of this data to verify if we have imported all the data correctly or not okay so to do that i can just copy it and uh, maybe add a line of code here and i would just use count of star as total content okay so this is going to return me the total content So let me just run this. You see the total content that is showing as 8807. Now I can see the total content is showing as 8807. Now we have imported correctly all the records. You can see it here. Okay. So this is the schemas that we have created. Now let's go ahead and kind of see how many different types of movies we have or different types of content we have, right? To do that, I can simply run this query to select all the columns and then we can see the distinct type. Okay. So we want to see how many different types of you know content we have in netflix right so for that we can simply say distinct and we can say type right so this is going to show us the distinct type of the content right so we have movies and we have the tv shows that you can see it here so this is one of the findings let's do some more analysis then we will solve 15 business problem so we'll say select everything from netflix again you can explore by yourself you know you may come up with some other problems so now you can see we can see the different titles again we can see distinct directors we can see how many nulls are there okay so all these columns are there you can explore and you can come up with your own queries and business problems now for me i have explored this data set and i have come up with 15 business problems which we will be solving in this project which you will be including in this project okay so let me first import those 15 problems here okay so these are the 15 business problems which i am going to provide to you so which you can include and uh, you can solve this 15 business problem or you can do some more business problems as well by yourself okay so let me write here maybe 15 business problems okay so this is our main analysis going to be right so these are the problem we will solve so you can see i have added 15 business problems so let's explore one by one and then let's solve one by one right first see the question number one okay so the problem number one says count the number of movies and the number of tv shows we have right so first let me just convert into as a text so now here i can write my solutions okay so which i can copy paste in my github repository at the later point so now we need to find out the total number of film which is uh, movies and the tv shows like web series we have right so we can before solving this we can simply have a look on the data set again so you can say select star from netflix which is our table name let's see the data again so then we can build our logic okay 
so we can see we have a column called type okay we need to find out each type and their number of count that we have right so that means we can do a group by by this type column and we can do a count on this show id or you can see count of star right so that is how we will find out how many movies we have and how many tv shows we have right so here what i will do is that i will simply select that type first column and then i would say count oops let me just type it here then i would say count count of star or show id okay so this star is going to count the total records for each type okay now then we need to do a group by by type so i would say group by by type okay and this one i can save it as total content okay so this is the problem number one let's just execute it now you can see it here we have different types and the number of total content we have so for movies we have 6113 one and the tv shows we have 2676 so this is the problem number one solution now let's see the problem number two find the most common rating for the movies and the tv shows so we have two category one is movie and one is tv shows we need to find out what is the maximum rating that is given to this movie category and what is the maximum rating that is given to this tv shows right that is what we need to find out now if you go to this rating column we have a column called rating that is here so it doesn't seems like it's a number so we cannot use a min or max right so it seems this is a text okay so here you can see we have a text so we need to find out for each category what is the maximum which text is given maximum time right so that is what we will you know do here so for that i am simply going to use simple approach called group by along with the window functions so i am going to select the type here so i have like the type so I'm going to select first type and then I'm going to select the second column which is going to be rating okay so let me first run this query so you can see we have types and the ratings so that means for each different types you can see different ratings are given here okay now I need to find out for each category for like we have two category one is movie and one is TV show so which rating is given the most okay so usually if we if I do it here if I just do a group by okay if I do a group by by the first and uh, then second column and I can just do a rating here and I can do a max here and if I just hide this one here and I put this rating in this max okay so usually this returns the maximum rating each category and the maximum rating okay so you will be getting the result but that's not going to be correct here so the reason is that the rating is a string here you can see right in string you cannot use the max functions so you can see it here for movie we are getting this is the rating that is showing as max and for the tv shows this is the rating that is given most of the you know for most of the film or most of the you know tv shows okay but this is not correct which i'm going to show you now okay why because this is a text you cannot use a max function on text or a string okay now to solve it what you can do is that we can do a group by by this type and then inside this type we can do a group by by the rating and then we can check their frequency like for each type and for each rating how many times were given right for each type so that is what i will do so here what i will do is that i'm going to use something called count count of star or you can just put count of show id and i will do a group by by type and the rating so i would say group by by one one means the first column then i'm saying group by by two which is a rating and then i'm saying count okay so this is going to give me each rating you can see each type and their different types of rating and the total count you can see this for tv shows for this rating was given 174 time okay here you can just do an order by by three in descending and you will see the highest rating that is this one okay that was given to this movies and then we have this one which is given to this right so we kind of have the result now what we need is that for each type we need one rating that was given the most time okay so for that you can see here if i just do an order by first of all by here type and then i do a order by by this rating which is going to be three so i will have the each type and their rating the data organized and the highest rated you know the rating okay so you can see for movies this is the rating which is tbma that was given 2062 time okay so this is what i need now if you go to the second section that will be like tv shows in the tv shows this is the rating that was given highest which is tbma okay so for both we have the same type of rating okay that was given the most 
so what i can do is that i can simply use a window function to select this and that re result so for that you can simply go ahead and say rank here so we'll be using a rank window functions and i can say over okay now inside the over you can simply say that partition by type so in each type we want to find out the highest rating right so we can say partition partition by type okay and we need to do order by order by this count in descending okay so this one i can save it as ring ranking okay so let's go ahead and execute it so now you see for each type we will be give, giving ranking one with the highest rated you know rating the you know row so that is this one and similarly for this second type we will again give the this row that is the row ranking one okay so this is the rank function does right so you can just execute it and you can see the ranking and uh, i can just ignore this order by for now because i've already done order by inside this so i can just execute it again i see for movie this 84 minute that was that has the highest uh, you know rating that is this one which is one count one okay now again we need to do count descending here okay i missed descending that's the reason we are not getting the right ranking okay now you can see for movie tbma that has got this rating this time like 2062 time so this is for movies this is the highest rated uh, you know rating that is tbma and for again for the tv shows that's tbma okay so this is the rating that was given most of the time for tv shows as well and the for movies as well now we can simply use a sub query to select these two things okay so i can go ahead and say select and i can say what i want to select is the type okay then i want to select this ranking that was given the most of the time so that's going to be this rating okay now from where i'm getting so i would say from this below query so this below query i can save in a table using a sub query so i can say t1 so now i'm just saving this query in this table called t1 from this table one I will be getting the type and the rating and I, I can use this column to do the filter okay so here I would say that where select everything where this ranking equals one now this column we cannot use it directly inside this query that's the reason we are saving this query in a sub query and then we are using this column okay now I can say using here where ranking equals one okay now this one I can just organize it so let's go now let's execute it and we will have each of the type and the rating that is given most of the time okay for movies which is this one tbma for tv shows which is tbma this is the rating that is received most of the time okay so that was question number two let's see the question number three now for the question number three it says list all movies released in a specific year which is 2022 so we need to list all the movies released in this year which is 2022 that's the task so you can simply go ahead and say select everything from netflix so before solving any problem first i would like to see the data then i can think like which is the approach is going to you know which which is the approach i'm going to apply to solve this problem so same approach you can do the same thing by yourself now you can see the question says list all movies released in a specific year it is very important for you to read the question multiple time so that you can understand the question till the time you don't understand the question see the table read the questions once you understand what you need to find out then you are good to go so we need to find out list all the movies released in a specific year which is 2022 so that means for now i will need to select everything then i'll need to first filter the data by 2022 okay 2022 2020 and then i need to sell filter the data which is only for movies right then i need to only filter the data for movies so i need two where conditions here so i'm saying selecting everything from netflix and i can say where so i can use this type as a to filter so i can say type equals now I would say movie so you need to make sure that you're giving proper spelling and this is a case sensitive so you need to put properly here okay so this is going to give us all the movies that we have so far which is 6131 we have checked this earlier as well now I need one more functions which is called only selecting the data for 2020 right so for that we have a year column I think that's the release year you can see it here so that's the release year so we can filter this by this column say that uh, this column equals 2020 okay so this column name is release and year so i would say equals now this is a number which is simply you can put 
2020 now both the conditions i want to be true so i'm going to use the n logic here okay because i want it has to be movie and also it has to be released in 2020 okay so list all the movies now i can see we have all the movies details which was a release in 2020 and they are movies you can see it here and if you see the release date that's 2020 okay simple where conditions we have used here to solve this question number three let's see question number four now so the question number four says find the top five countries with the most content on netflix so it says find the top five countries with the most content on netflix so we need to find out the countries that has the most content on netflix so let's go ahead and see the table first so i would say select everything from netflix okay so we need to find out the top five countries which has the most content okay so in which countries the most contents are being released okay so for that we can do a group by by the country so we do have a country column you can see we can do a group by by the country and then for each country we can do a count on the show id to see how many content belongs to each country right so we can do that that's very simple okay so i can simply go ahead and select this column which is called country and i can use a count on this shoes id which is show id this one or i can use a store star so i'm going to say show id and i'm going to save it as to tell content okay and i would say group by by one so that i i see each country and the total content that was being released okay so you have the data here you can see for this three country this showing the content was released once and for this it's showing the content was released 13 for null we have this where we don't have the country okay so it almost solved the problem but you see we have one country you know here we have a combinations like different different countries okay for this combinations we can only see one so there is a possibility we may have more movies that was only released by australia and that was not released by australia united kingdom and the canada okay so we first need to solve this problem so here we have in one uh, you know column we have multiple countries and names so we need to split these countries and then we can check for each countries and what is the total count okay so that is what we will need to do to solve this problem okay so that is what we will do now how do we solve it so first based on this comma we can separate this country okay now whatever the movies we are working on that movies was also released in australia also released in united kingdom also released in canada so that is going to count in each of these three countries okay so i'm going to use a function called string to array here to solve this problem okay so let me first show you the functions so let's say I have this column called country. Okay, I'm going to just select the country just for you. And uh, I will say from Netflix. Okay, so let's select the country from the Netflix. You can see I'm having the countries. Now you can see here I have multiple countries, right? So wherever I have more than one country, as you can see they are splitted by comma. So I can use this comma as a split you know delimiter to split this country right based on this comma so for that what you can do is that simply you need to write something called string to array okay now array if you know array is a kind of you can it's kind of list that you, you see in python okay that is separated by commas okay so now this string functions string to array functions take two argument one is the column name and the second is the delimiters the delimiter you need to put inside this quotes okay so here our delimiter is comma now i'm just going to kind of save it and save it as new country okay so it's going to create one array okay now if you just run this query you will see it has created an array now you see this this is the only one records we have it's one array so here you see we have multiple records okay you can see all the records are put in the array using this double quotes okay so still this doesn't solve our problem we still have 8807 countries records okay now what i will do here is that i am going to use something one more function that's called unnest okay so for, for that that's going to create one row and uh, each country is going to uh, you know edit uh, you know one after one okay so that is what it's going to do so i will just select everything from here and it's called un est unnest okay now inside this i will just put this column so let's see now i can see we have total 10000 which is we we, we have 10019 different different countries record here they are not distinct again but this is the total number of frequency we have okay 
so the same functions what we will be doing here okay so it's like array first array we are converting the country by using this comma into different different arrays and then from this array we are just unnesting it using this unnest functions okay so what i will do here is that i will simply go ahead and use instead of you directly doing group by by this country i will do group by by this new country column that i have created for that i can just use this uh, you know functions here okay now what will happen it's going to force create for each country it's going to split based on the comma and then i'm just using a count function and i'm doing group by by one okay let me run it now you will see we have 197 distinct countries okay no countries have like double, double records you can see you can verify it so each country is have only one here one time because now i have split it based on the comma i have split the data into the array and from the array i have unnested into uh, you know single single records then once i do a group by so each country is going to consider in one group and then total number of movies that release in that country is going to count it here okay so this is a very very important function part of string functions you can go through this and do some of the practice and then you will be familiar with this functions okay so that was the functions to solve this problem now you can see we need to select the top five countries with the most content so let me just see we can just do a order by here order by by two in descending two means in the second column okay and you see i can say limit limit five to see the top five countries with the most content now you see we have India which is in the second rank, United States and that's the first rank. Okay, these are the top five countries where the highest movies were released. Okay, now let's see the question number five. So the question number five says identify the longest movie. So we need to find out the longest movie. So we can simply go ahead and say select everything from Netflix. And uh, this is going to show us all the details. Now. You can go to this in durations, which is a column that we have it here. So we just need to find out the maximum durations, right? So this is a text. We first need to convert this into number and then we can use a max of functions on this, right? So to do that, what I can do is that I can go ahead and say select everything from Netflix. Okay. And I would say where and uh, I can use this functions, which is called durations. Okay, first of all, we need the longest movie. So I'm first going to filter out, say that type equals movie because we only want to see movie. And the second, what I want is the duration is the longest durations, right? So I can go ahead and say durations, durations. And uh, here I need to say the select the maximum durations, right? So the maximum durations, how do you select? Okay, so we can go ahead and say select max and we can say durations maximum durations from Netflix okay so this is going to work as a sub query now I can execute this query okay you can see the maximum duration that we have 99 okay so 1999 it's going to return 99 okay so once you have 99 it's going to compare 99 and then we can execute this query so this is going to give us the movies that has the highest you know durations now you can just check it so 99 seems to be the highest durations movies that we have okay now the question number six says find the content that added in the last five years so we can simply use this and date edit uh, column to get the content that was released in the last five years so let's go ahead and say select everything which i need all the contents from netflix okay i will say where and i'm going to use this column which is called date edit okay so i'll say date edit okay now here i need to select the last five year range right now this and date edit that you see this is a date but you can see the data type that is showing as a you know character here so we first need to convert this into a date and then we can select the last five years date okay so or we can extract the year from this and then we can again compare so anyways you can do it anyways i'm going to first convert this into a date proper date and then i can use simply current date so i can say current date minus okay interval okay and i would say five years okay now if you want to see this functions that's going to return a five years old date okay so you can see it's returning a five years old date that's 2020 9, 2019 9 september 2019 6 september and uh, this is the five years old date right you can see it here so 
this is going to return the five years old date right this functions and here i can say that is greater than equals to this five years old date so this is how it's going to select the last five years uh, you know the movie that was added in the last five years in netflix okay so for that we will just use this date edit function so first i am going to convert this into an uh, uh, you know actual date so the way i convert it okay so i will show you let's say i just select this column additionally okay just to show you and uh, you can see a new column that is added date edit right so here i can simply say to care to date okay so i will convert this text into date i will just need to select my column which is date and what is the format i have so all the format you need to put inside this quotes so i have something called month first you can see if you see this data i have the month then the day then comma then i have the year so you need to write this function which is called month then dd d in the capital and then you need to say comma and then you need to say y y y y so that means month in the text and then we have dd that means the number and then we have the day number and then we have the year so this is going to convert this date into actual date so i missed a comma here so let's go ahead and execute it here so i missed a parenthesis here now let's see so now you can see here the data type is a date for this column that i have created using this to date and it's showing the actual date now this column i can use and i can compare it right with the current date and the last five years old date so this is what i'm going to do here so i'm going to say instead of date i will use it this functions okay so this function is going to convert our data into a date and uh, we're just comparing that hey if the movie was added you know before this date which is 2019 that we have checked earlier then we will need all these records so i will just go ahead and organize my query now you can see now we have all the movies that was added in the last five years so you can verify it okay so you can see it here edit 2021 2021 okay so you can check all the movies that was added in the last five years okay all right so this is how we have solved the question number six now let's see the question number seven so the question number seven says find all the movies tv shows by director called rajiv chilaka okay so this is the director name we need to find out all the movies and the tv shows that is done by this director okay now to solve it first let's have a quick look on the data set so we'll say select everything from netflix okay we do have a column called directors so we're going to use that column so that's going to be this column we can see it here so let's see so that's going to be a director column that we have country so i think this is the director column this is the cast so this is the director column you can see it here okay so in this director column we need to find out all the movies or tv shows that was you know directed by this director which is called rajiv chalaka okay so to solve that what you can do you can simply use a where functions okay and you can say where and you can say where director equals okay and i can put this name okay so this is going to check if in case any movie that was uh, you know directed by this director which is called rajiv chilaka okay so we can just check now you can see there are 19 movies that was directed by this director okay so this is somehow correct but in some of the directors we have seen this director's names are joined like it is it has uh, you know directed by multiple director the same movies so that's where it is not going to show that uh, you know records so let me just show you this in director columns okay so here we see we have two directors okay so what if in case we have same movie that is directed by rajiv and someone else so that means this director function is not going to work so for this you can simply use a like operator here so you can go ahead and say like and you can just add uh, you know this percentage assigned at the starting at the end so that is going to select all the movies that was directed by this you know director so even if you have multiple directors still that is going to select because we are looking for a pattern now in the director columns we are saying hey if this name exists i need that record so okay that means this percentage and at the first and the end so that means this director can name at the starting of this all the director or in the middle or at the end okay so now let's see now let's see we have 22 records and let's see if you have got any new records okay so here you see this record was not selected earlier because earlier we had 21 rec 20 records i think 
and here we have two new records which is this movies okay so you can see this movies the movie's name is this which is called mighty raju okay now this movies was directed by all this director so earlier i used the where conditions where it did not select a trick right i can just re-show you so earlier now we have 22 earlier we had 20, 19 records okay so you see that movies is gone because it's simply trying to look for this director name if in case any other director name is there it's not going to select it okay so that means for that we can use this like operator that's going to look for a pattern in this director name and if this director now name exists if this director name exists then it's going to select this record now if in case if this name has a small letter lower case so because in that case it's not going to select so it expect the name should be starting with this proper case so this proper case should start with the capital r then this start with the last name start with the capital c so to fix it you can use something called i like okay so this i like is going to work with this case case sensitive so if in case if there are any new records by this director and that has a you know small r here or you know a small c here it is still going to select it okay so it's better to use this i like you know operator instead of simply using like okay all right so next let's go ahead and see this one which is called question number eight so it says list all tv shows with more than five season okay we can again see everything from netflix we need all the tv shows where we have the season which is more than five okay now we can go to this column which is called season let's see so we need the season that is more than five so all the tv shows okay so we need the web series so you can simply say where and uh, you can see this is the column name called durations durations greater than five season okay now the thing is that you see this durations column we have the minute as well and this is the text right so you cannot use this greater than less than in text okay so how do we you know select the season where we have more than five so you can see here we have you know some similar pattern okay first of all we need to filter the data by this only web series because we don't want to see the data for the movies so i can just go ahead and say here is that where type equals tv uh, so i would say tv show okay so where the type is tv show and i will have all the data with only for tv shows you can see it here we have 2676 now i will use this column okay so this is the column i'm going to use so in this column you can see there is a pattern we have the number first then we have the season so every record has number season we need this durations greater than five season so that means so we can split the six from this column and then we can compare it here okay so how do we do it okay so for this one i'm again going to show you how you can use this split functions okay so let's let me add it here okay let me say i am going to add a new column here and that is going to use this column which is called durations okay so i would say durations this column i'm going to use durations okay so on this durations like we have text to split in excel so the same functions we have we can use it here so the function name is called split part so we'll be using split part function here so let me first show you how this function works so i can just write split and i can say part and i can put my column name so this take three argument one is the column name second is the delimiters that's for us is going to be space okay and then the third is the argument like one two three okay so one means the before this space the first argument that it is going to select this split part okay and i'm going to say as maybe something called the you know the season okay let's run it and you will see the result now i can see we here we have uh, the all the tv shows selected now i can see for the season we have here two season one season one season okay so last column you can see two one one so it has you know split it the the text before this space now what is this one i can explain okay so let's say we have some name here okay so we have some name here that's going to be let's say we have something called apple okay then we have something called banana then we have something called cherry okay let's say from this name you only need the first name so that means everything that is before the first space right or you need only everything before this second space okay so let's say first i need everything before this first space so for that 
what I will be doing is that I'm going to use this function which is called a split part okay I will say split part and this is my column name okay so I will say comma so what is my delimiters so the delimiter is going to be space and which string I need so do I need the first one second one third one so I need the first one right so I can use one here so it's going to print the apple you can see it has printed the apple okay so this is the logic that we are using we're using the split part to get the first object from that uh, you know the seasons okay so the same thing we can do it here right so instead of durations we can say this so this is going to get us the number instead from the seasons because we have already filtered the data by tv types now we are simply go ahead and select all the tv shows okay where this number the season is greater than five okay so let's go ahead and now run it i need the star so that means i need all the records only for the tv shows which is greater than five so let's kind of go ahead i need to use the n logic here So I would say TV shows and greater than five. So let's go ahead and say I don't need this now for and uh, split part durations space one greater than five. Okay, so let's kind of run it now. Seasons. Okay. Okay, so I am selecting this uh, alias. I don't need the alias here. So let's run it. So this side we are getting a text and data type. So we need to convert this data type into number. So using numeric, and then we can uh, you know you compare with this uh, you know this greater than you know operator. Okay, and I can see we have the outcome where all the durations is more than five season. We can verify it. Okay. So this is how it is kind of working. Okay. So we have used this split part functions to subtract the you know the number and then we have converted the number because it was in text format then we have num converted the number into numeric and we are using this greater than sign so this is how we have solved question number eight now let's see the question number nine if you're still watching the video i really appreciate your time i request you to subscribe to my youtube channel if you have not subscribed yet and thank you so much for all your love and support so let's continue so let's see the question number nine it says count the number of content item in each genre so in each genre, we need to find out the number of content items in each genre, right? So that's the questions. So we will again see the table. So select everything from Netflix. Now let's see we have any genre or, you know, columns. Yes, we do have a genre column. I think that's listed in. So this column is the genre column. You can see listed in. Okay, so we are going to use this column. And it says we need to find out each genre and the number of, you know, content we have. So you see this some film uh, belongs to multiple genre. Okay, so first of all, we need to split this, you know, each genre and then we need to do a group by by this each genre and see how many films that falls into each genre. Okay, so for that, we first need to split this records, okay, into different, different, uh, you know, columns or you can use the same string to array functions and then we can use unless to kind of convert this into the single row and then we can do a group by by this okay so that is what i am going to do so what i will do here is that i'm going to select this column is called listed in okay next i'm going to show that show id okay so let's first select this two column because i only need these two columns to kind of solve this problem okay so you see i have 8807 records now what i need is that each genre should be splitted right from here so for that I can use either the split functions or I can use the you know array function which is called a string to array okay string to array now if you use a string to array so that is really easy you just need to give the column name and the delimiters okay so the column name is this and the delimiters we know it's a comma but if you use the split functions you need to define like how many you know every time every first genre that is going to be a first column then the second genre third genre but we do not know how many genres are there in each film okay so the best is this string functions okay so let me run this query and uh, you will see now for each each listed each genre you can see it has created a new array okay so this is the first array inside this you can see we have multiple records you can see they are you know inside double quotes okay so I am going to now use unnest functions, okay? And that is going to split this all the different different genre based on this, uh, you know, comma. So that is what I will do. I'm going to see, use here unnest. 
put this column let's run it okay now you can see the total record has increased okay earlier it was 8000 now it is 19000 now what is happening okay so it is taking the first first record the first film you can see the show id okay and then it is taking the you know first film and the first genre if there is a two genre then it will create one more record by the same show id you can see show id 2 the first international tv shows was the first genre then this then this okay so for the tv show 2 it has created three different rows because we have used unnest so based on the three genre it has created different different records okay now that means i can do a group by by this and i can count this tv show right so the problem is solved so that's what i'm going to do so i'm going to put this column on the top and uh, in this tv show i'm going to use count so i will say count and i will just give a comma here this one i am going to save it called genre and uh, i'll just need to do a group by to see the results so it's a group by by one and i have each genre and the number of this content that was you know kind of created inside in each genre so i would say total content okay so this is how we have solved this question number nine so there was question number nine let's see the question number 10 so the question number 10 says find each year and the average number of content released by india on netflix so return the top five years with the highest average release so we need to find out for india total number of content that is released in india so for that we will again see the data first select everything from netflix now if you go to this in data sections we have something called country okay so in this country column we can filter the data okay so where is the country column so we have this country column okay so first of all we can select the data for india because we need the data for india so i can say where country equals india okay so this is how i will select all the content that is released by india so in india that is released in india it's going to be in india now what else we want to do so here we want to select that this is the total records which is 972 okay now we want to select each year so first for that we need to get each year release year okay so we have the release year which is here or we can get uh, i mean the content release year or content edit date so for now i'm just going to consider this date edit because it says we need to find out the average content release year because some movies are released in the past maybe in the 1990s now they are being added in the netflix so let's say i'm going to consider this in date columns date edits so how many contents are being added in the netflix yearly basis so i'm going to use this column which is called date edits so that means how many contents average content are added in each year by you know in india by netflix okay so i will go ahead and say select this and date edit date edit okay column and uh, then i'm going to first of all convert this into the you know the year because this one i want in the year right so for for that i will first convert into date okay so to do to the outset to and outset date and i'm going to say this one this is a text right now right now i need to first convert into a date so i'm going to say to date and uh, i i will define the data types so this one it has month which we already did earlier so we have month dd and then we have comma and yy yy okay so this is as date right this is the date we have and i need to rest everything for now okay so i need to now extract the year from this uh, date column and then i can do a group by by each year and then i can find the average right so for that what i can do is that simply i can go ahead and say here i can go ahead and say cut and i can say extract and i will say year from from where from this column okay now this one i'm going to save it as a year and i will do a group by i will say group by group by by one so that i can have the count of star okay so that means for each year i i have the total number of movies that was released now so so that means i will have each year and the number of content that was released okay so let's go ahead and kind of check this extract year from there is this typo so extract word from this to date and uh, now you can see we have these are the years that is available from india so all these years and the number of content that was added by netflix okay 
now we need to find out the total content now we need to find out the average film for each year right so the average is going to be the total content for india which is maybe 972 and for each year we want to find out the average so each year whatever the content so let's say 2020 2018 we have 333 so this is going to be the average for 20 you know for this year for this year and the average is going to be different right so for that we were going to use sub query here to get this uh, you know to solve this okay so i can use this uh, content so this is going to give me the yearly con uh, yearly number of content now here i need the total content that is released by india so for that i can simply use a sub query inside the sub query i can say total select count of star i can say from netflix okay where country equals okay now country equals india okay so this is how this is going to return me the total content that is released by india you can see 972 okay now this is going to return me yearly content which we already have seen now i will just need to multiply with 100 so that is how i will be getting the average okay now i can save it as a average content per year okay so let's execute it now so we have the average content per year as zero at the moment there is some reason because we are doing we're doing multiple calculations here so we are getting a divisions error so i will need to convert this into numeric numeric because sql doesn't know the data types of this so we will say numeric and this one whatever i'm getting from this also i'm going to convert into numeric then i will get the divisions so now you can see here i have 2018 so so this year we had highest content from india which is 33 three and that's 34 percent all of total the content so this year 203 so 20 percent okay now we can simply use a round functions to kind of do a round up so you can say round and uh, next line okay you can round by two okay so that's how and this one is like as yearly content okay so we will have now the clean reports so we are getting total content and then we are dividing this yearly content divided by the total content using a sub query okay you can see it here so that was the question number 10 so let's see the question number 11 now so question number 11 says list all the movies that are documentaries so we can go ahead and see the data which is select everything from netflix so now we will first see the data so let's see the data first so we have uh, something called genre in the genre we have something called documentaries right so we need to find out all the movies that falls into documentaries and genre okay so for that i can simply go ahead and say select everything from netflix where listed listed in and i can simply use a like operator here as well okay so i could say like and uh, what i need to find is documentaries okay So I will put documentaries now to ensure that if it is starting from capital or small, I can use the I like. Okay, so we will see if we find any different type of documentaries. I have missed a where conditions, so I'm seeing where this listed I like documentaries. So we have 869 records. If I just remove this I like, let's see how many records we get. We get no records, okay, because the actual uh, the you know the spelling that is the capital d but still i'm defining it as small d because i'm using i like so it is still working fine completely okay so you can see that we have eight six nine total records okay now one thing you can verify it even if it has more genre but if the documentaries genre is added we're still selecting it let me just see the listed in okay so here you can see the second film it was released in two genre so documentaries and the international movies so you can see still we are getting that because we are using this like operator using this you know percentage sign okay so that is how we are getting all the records wherever it can find the documentaries it is going to return the records okay so that was question number 11 now let's see the question number 12 so the question number 12 says find all the content without a director so very simple we have a director column so we can check if the director column has any null okay so that's going to be this column so we can select everything okay which is going to be the same and we can simply use the director column here director director and we can say 
is null okay all the content without a director okay so that means director we need null okay we can just select it and these are the all content where the director name is missing 2634 so you can verify it in the director columns we have null okay so that is how we have solved the question number 12 let's see the question number 13 now so it says find how many movies actor Salman Khan appeared in last 10 years okay. now let's see the question number 13 so the question number 13 says find how many movies actor Salman Khan appeared in the last 10 years okay so this one we can solve using simple where conditions I would say select everything from Netflix okay now we have a cast column in this cast column I am going to use uh, simple where conditions to see how many film we have you know cast as Salman Khan so for that I can say where and I'm going to see you use I like and I will put I like here I'm going to say cast I like and I'm going to use simple percentage and I'm going to say Salman Khan okay so even if it is some of the you know movies name has Salman Khan with a small or you know uppercase it's going to deal with this I like okay now let's see how many film we have so we don't have any film let's see like okay I missed a parenthesis here so I will say I like I missed a you know percentage here now you see 20 film we have for Salman Khan okay which you can see it here now we just need the data for last 10 years okay so that is released in last 10 years okay so for that we can simply filter by this date edit or you can filter by the release here because if in case you want to check by the release here you need to filter by the release here so that's going to be really easy we have the integers so i can go ahead and say end this release year greater than last 10 years like so the current year minus 10 years right so current year you can use this current date functions and you can say extract and here from this today date so it's going to return the year from the today date and you can say minus 10 so this current date return the today date and we are extracting the year and then minusing 10 so that's how we get the 10 years old date now then we are comparing with the release year and saying hey release year is greater than this 10 years so that is how we select the data only for last 10 years so we have two records let's verify it the first record that was released in 2015 and the second record that was released in 2019 so these are the two film we have for this actor which is called Salman Khan okay you can see the film name all right so let's see now the question number 14 and the question number 15 so first solve the question number 14 it says find the top 10 actors who appeared in the highest number of movies produced in India okay so for this I'm going to again select everything from Netflix so simple group by we need to do using a where conditions okay so we need to find out the top 10 actors who appear in the highest number of film produced in India now if you see this cast we have each cast and they have uh, you know this the each film we have multiple cast right so we first need to extract each cast and then based on each cast we need to duplicate each film based on each cast we need to create each film and uh, the cast name okay so let's say this film we have 10 cast so we need to create 10 records for this film the film 2 and then we can do a group by by this so that we can find out the each cast and the total number of film they have done so this one again we can use this same function which is called a string to array functions okay to solve it just to show you i'm just going to print this cast and i'm going to show show id okay or cast and i'm also going to use this string string to array okay now this tag two argument one is the column name which is cast and the delimiter which is going to be comma now we just need to create unnest okay so let's go ahead and print it now now you can see we have 64,000 different records because now it has split it in the cast right from the cast it has split the cast so it has taken the first cast then second cast third cast from the same film and you can see everything remains same show id2 for the show id2 all this cast okay that means it has created from the show id2 it has extracted all the cast and then it has created a new column okay 
now we can simply do a group by, by this column and do a count that is how we will see like the total number of movies that uh, you know appeared by each actor okay so first of all let me just delete this show id let's delete this cast and i'm just going to name it call actors okay now i need each actor and the total count so it's like same total content okay so let's go ahead and now go ahead and say group by one which is my first column so i will have each actor and the total movies number of movies they have appeared okay and so we have each actors and the number of movies they have appeared now you can see we are getting total 39000 different actors because in each film there are multiple actors that work but it doesn't mean that each actor will have a one film right so that's the reason now again let's say there are only two film that is done by 20 actors right so for that we will have 20 actors so each actor some actor may have done in two uh, films some actor may have only participated in one but we will have 20 unique you know records for 20 actors okay so that is what actually happening here let's go ahead and kind of now see what else we need to do so now we need to find out the top 10 actors who appeared in the highest number of movies produced in india okay now we can simply go ahead and do order by here order by this two which is going to be oops, order by by two that is how we have each actor and the the total film that is released you know for each actors okay order by in descending okay so let's go ahead and kind of run it again so you can see this is anupam here so that's 39 this is rupa okay now one thing we need to filter the data only for india right we are getting like now here we are getting all the you know records okay so we do not want it we only want the data for india so we can say where and we can say country and i can use i like okay i like and i'm going to say india now just any one of you tell me why i'm using this i like and why i'm not using country equals india you can write down your answer in the comment box why i'm using country i like why i'm not using country equals okay so you can write down your approach in the comment box why i'm doing it let's see now we can see we have 4000 records we just need top 10 so i'm just going to say here limit limit 10 so we have top 10 actors and the number of film that is done by this top 10 actors okay you can see it here all right that is how we have solved question number 14 now let's see the question number 15 so the question number 15 is little difficult and you can see it here it says categorize the content based on the presence of this keyword like kill violence in the description field label the content containing this keyword as bad and all other content as good so count how many items fall into each this category okay now in the descriptions in each film description we need to find out if that film has something called kill or this violence you know uh, violence a keyword okay so for that if in case it has kill or violence we need to categorize that film as a bad and then otherwise we need to categorize that film as a good a film or you know content or film or tv shows then we can see each you know bad how many count we have and each good how many film we have okay so that is what we will do let's first see the data select everything from netflix and uh, let's go ahead and run this query which you can see it here 8807 now you can see this in descriptions if you see this in descriptions here we need to find out something called kill or we need to find out this violence okay so if you want to just check you can say where and you can simply use i like and you can say i like and uh, we can simply say i like and we can look for kill okay let's see if any film we have by the description as kill so i need to say descriptions which column right description like kill so in the description we're looking for kill so we have 3004 records where descriptions we have kill let's verify it so to protect his family from powerful drug okay is killed now you can see this is what it has returned okay let's see this one so we have something called skill so it is the reason we are uh, you know selecting this record so though this is not the correct you know records but if you see it here so here you will have again something called killed right so we have killed here so if you see it here we have again something called killer okay so this is they are similar so this is the reason it is kind of returning this one because we have skill 
so because of that we have used this percentage sign it's returning this if you don't use the percentage then that's going to work okay but we, thing is that we need to find out this kill okay okay that's the one thing and this is the first condition second i want to check one more conditions is that that's violence right so that's going to be instead of kill i want to look for a violence let's kind of run it let's see if that film description has violence or kill this keyboard i want to select that film okay let's see this one so this one you can see kill this one you can see violence i did check something let's check this one has kill this one has skill okay this one has surface sickness violence you can see this one has violence okay so this one we want to categorize okay so this same approach i'm going to use it okay use a case statement to create a new column using the same approach okay so i can say case and i can say when so when what i want to look for is that i want to look for descriptions i like kill so why i'm using i like you can just comment out like why i'm using i like not using like okay so you can let me know in the comment box so i'm saying when descriptions i like equals i like you know uh, in this quotes and percentage kill or i want to check when this in descriptions i like violence okay then i want to call it bad okay bad film okay bad film or bad content okay now else i want to call it good content okay so every case need to end using n and i can give a column name called category okay so that is it now this has simple one logic either it check it, it has kill or violence if it's if it has kill or violence it categorize that film as a bad content otherwise it categorize that as a good content okay so let's run this query and let's see it will create a new column let's kind of check the i missed a comma here okay let's kind of run it again so it's going to create a column at the end so that's you can see it here okay so this film it's a good film okay the second one it's a good film this one is the bad film okay so let's verify it so you can see it here here we already can see that we have violent okay so that's kind of similar let's kind of check we also have a skilled and we have violent okay so this is a bad film now we want to do a good categorize we want to do a group by by this category so that we can do a count so to do that i can use a ct here i would say with new table as a ct syntax is very simple you say with start with with and you just give a ct name you can give any name and you just need to say s and inside this parenthesis you need to put your whole query okay now what will happen this query is going to execute first by sql this is going to create a table called new table the city itself it's called temporary table so from this table i can select whatever i need okay now from this i would need this category because i want to find out each category and how many count we have so as total content from where i'm getting all this i am getting all this from this this city which is called new table okay so i will just do a group by and by one which is this category so that i can have the total count for each category like good or bad okay so let's see now now i can see we have good 8465 content and for bad we have 342 content okay so based on this keyword we have kind of you know created this group and then based on the group we are doing group by and we are checking the total content so this is how we have solved all the 15 problems now based on your analysis you can solve some more problems as well and you can include those problem as well in your github repository so let's go ahead and see how we should publish in this project so i'm going to first save it as a solutions in desktop so i will say solution and uh, i'm going to save it in desktop okay now let's go to github and create a new repository okay so for that we will need this readme file okay so to create a new repository you can go to github and uh, go to google and just type github okay and if you have not signed up you can sign up you can just click this icon and uh, you can use your google account to sign up once you sign up you can set up your profile you can just click this option which is called profile and uh, you can click on profile 
and you can set up your profile okay so what i want to show you is that you need to go to the repository and you can click on new and you can just give a name so i would say netflix sql project okay so very simple name i would say project 2 because i already have project 1 now this is important you need to make sure it is public because if it is private no one can access it or no one can see it and this is a readme file because we will add a readme file where we will explain about the project okay so click on create default repository that's going to create a new repository and you can see the repository here okay so here we want to upload all the files and folder each and everything that is related to this project so we can say upload files and uh, you can upload the each and everything okay so i want to upload these solutions i want to upload this data set okay now once you upload everything next what you need to upload is that you need to upload the readme file as well also you can write the readme file by yourself where you can write the descriptions about the project like each and every details okay so you can just write something called netflix movies and tv shows data analysis using sql okay so first hash the one hash mean is a heading okay so you can just save it now you will be able to kind of see it's a heading okay so you can see it is a heading let's say i want to add an image so i can simply kind of put an image tag here so i will need to just write something like this square brackets and parenthesis inside the parenthesis i need to put the image link okay here i will need to just use any name called netflix logo and i can get the image link so to get the image link i will need to first upload the image in this repository or you can use you know image from any anywhere else so i will say upload and uh, i will say from this netflix folders i have the image so let me say i think i have the image in download i'm going to include all this image and everything so you just need to upload it i will just need the link okay so let me first copy the link logo and you can see the link is copied i will just go back to this readme which is this one okay you can see this readme i will just click on edit now here inside this parenthesis i will just add the link okay i will just click on save and you will see the project readme file is ready with this logo okay next what i need is the objective okay so for objective i will just use double you know hash and i would say objective okay and i can just say save you can see objective right so this is how you can add all the command here now i am going to include this readme file which i already have it here so you can just copy paste it and you can just add your questions and you can write your solutions okay so let me just copy this readme file here and uh, just click on commit and uh, this project is ready so i can see the project nice heading you can change the name if in case you want something else okay you can add the name as per you and you can rewrite this overview objective data set now you can see the schemas so this data set link you can add it based on you if you want to edit okay so this is going to take you to the kaggle.com from where we got the data set you can see it here okay so you can see now we have this questions which the questions we have solved so you can edit any of the questions to edit you can click on this edit and uh, you can just make sure that whatever sql queries you are copy pasting it that has to be inside this uh, you know sql command you can see sql starting with this backticks sql and backticks so here you need to put your commands so three backticks should be there and this sql you know word okay now this double hash means it's a heading so then the triple hash means it's a third heading that means the heading template three okay so this is how you can add all the questions and at the end i have added some link which you can remove by yourself so that's going to be this links which is about the author so you can delete it you can add your email address and maybe your you know portfolio link and other information that you want to showcase okay that's it for this video thank you so much for watching the video till the end you can get all the project resources and data set from the video descriptions and if you're getting any issues while completing this project you can let me know in the comment box have a good day see you tomorrow take care bye bye